Hey, what's up everyone? So I wanted to talk about this post because I said to myself, media literacy is dead online, especially when it comes to the superhero genre. The concept of the multiverse variants and other actors portraying different versions of characters despite being previously established as someone else is dead to people somehow. Now seeing this, and the fact that this has almost 28 million views, 200,000 likes, and lots of people are going back and forth discussing it, where it's like, how are people collectively in agreement with this? Where it's like, in my opinion, it's more nonsense. So this post states, both of these scenes mean nothing now. Now with the context of these still images provided, we see Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man within Avengers Endgame. Obviously with that iconic scene of him making the ultimate decision to confront Thanos, take the Infinity Gauntlet, use it with the, you know, um, cool I am Iron Man scene, snaps, and then basically saves the universe and his world. Sacrifice himself, succumbs to his energies based on all that cosmic energy flowing through him, but just him just being a regular human guy. So it's like, yeah, he dies. And also with um, Logan in the 2017 film Logan, where he succumbs to his injuries, fighting the military ops group and also fighting the younger clone himself to save Laura and the mutant kids within that context of the film towards the end. And basically people are saying that, um, well, at least the people agreeing with this specific posts are stating that these, I guess, scenes don't matter anymore or these um, legacies of the characters are shattered based on what Marvel Studios is doing right now with the MCU, that all the emotion and death is ruined, that, you know, why even care about this stuff anymore? Where it's like, what are you talking about? Are you smoking something? Of course not. And based on the timeline of this post being on the 27th, obviously during that time, Robert Downey Jr. was announced and revealed to return to the MCU via, via the Victor Von Doom, aka Dr. Doom role within um, the MCU, you know, obviously headlining Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars, basically becoming the new Phase 5 villain, replacing Kane the Conqueror. And and obviously, by that time, a couple of days now, um, Deadpool Wolverine was already out in theaters, but Hugh Jackman reprising his role as Wolverine within that film. But people have to understand that, um, and that's pretty much the gist of it. People cannot handle the same actors from previously established, I guess, um, canon, returning but in different roles, being different people, existing in the multiverse. Like, people can't handle that, even though we've seen it numerous times already. Now, again, Robert Downey Jr. is playing Doctor Doom. He is not Iron Man. Iron Man's still dead. Iron Man didn't come back to life. I mean, maybe in Secret Wars we'll get Tony returning, but it's like, I don't know yet. We had to wait and see. But, no, he's playing Doctor Doom. A, a totally different person from Iron Man. Like, this isn't, you know, him rising from the grave and, and deciding to become evil for some reason. Like, no, of course not. <laughs> and then Deadpool and Wolverine, yes, that's you, Jackman, as, as Wolverine again, but it's not the same on um, Wolverine from the Fox X-Men film franchise. This is a different Wolverine. This is a variant of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. So it's like, I don't understand. You know, these two characters are not connected at all with um, Iron Man or or, or, or Fox um, Wolverine. Like, it's the same faces, yeah, sure. But again, that's that's o that's overall concept of the multiverse. And the fact that people can't understand that, I mean, that that's basic comic book 101, where it's like, people return from the dead Character can return in different roles, you know, <laughs> so it's like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. It really is crazy that people are saying this, man. And the fact that people don't get the concept of the multiverse. They're dead. They're dead. They're not coming back. Um, and yes, I know no one stays dead. And I like this uh, comic, book, comic rule number one, no one stays dead. Except Uncle Ben, which is pretty much true. This has almost 400,000 likes, but it's like... <sighs> Look, I get it. The multiverse right now is, is the concept that people aren't really gravitating towards because of it being oversaturated in media, not just superhero work. But it's pretty, it's pretty simple, you know, with multiple versions of yourself or people sharing the same face despite being different personas, you know, evil, good, whatever. And it's like, I feel like people are really just 
either they want to be outraged towards the MCU for including these people, or they they're just being um. <laughs> I want I want to say cloud posting because it's like of course this is going to get attention from the the online um superhero fandom where it's like what are you talking about? You know Iron Man and Logan's sacrifices are still, you know um a thing. You know like nothing was disrespected at all. In terms of their legacies. I mean look. With Deadpool and Wolverine. Yes. Te- technically. Spoiler alert. Technically. Fox franchise. Wolverine came back. But it's like. In the beginning of the film. Again spoilers. It's Deadpool. Pretty much digging up. Logan's grave. From the end of the film. And seeing his. Um, skeleton. Like no. This man is. is, is <laughs> truly dead. Like he, he's not coming back. And. Um. I mean, there's a fun scene that goes with it as well, but it's like, I'm, I don't want to spoil that because that, that was a blast to see. <laughs> that set the tone and vibe for the film. Um, and going back to Iron Man, it's like, we haven't seen anything so far. Again, maybe, maybe Secret Wars because the fact that there is no way you bring back Robert Downey Jr. in a different role and not say, well, you know, maybe we can have you back as Iron Man as well. What do you think? Like, there is no way that that, that would be the biggest missed opportunity. I say the same shit about Chris Evans. And Chris Evans is another thing where it's like, <laughs> I'm surprised people don't get mad at him. Because that type of outrage is like, because look, in the way I get the Wolverine one, where people are like, well, and I'll, t- I'll tie it back to Iron Man as well, where people are most likely like, well, yeah, these are, these are iconic figures, actors within these roles that we've seen for decades. And it's like, maybe that should have just been it for them. Them not returning in its canon. Their story is already being told and, and pushed aside. It doesn't matter if, if if they're different characters or not. We just don't want to see them anymore. Because we feel like we, we, we're fulfilled. And we feel completed with what they've done already. So it's like, why even bring them on again? Even if it's different roles. Even if it's not the same one. Whereas like, well, the concept of the multiverse. You know, not, not to sound condescending. But it's like, it, it calls for stuff like this to happen. It makes stuff interesting. I mean, who doesn't want to see variants of... Of all these characters, or see them as as different than um, previously um, stated, and um, <laughs> see, I, I can't even make another point because it's like it's it's so simple, it's so simple. No wish, no nobody should be mad at this at all. You know, it's like I don't know what else to say. To be honest with you. <sighs> Nah, both of these characters are dead. We got variants now. Also, welcome to the world of comic books. Um, yeah, I, I don't like that. If people are trying to restrict actors in terms of what they can do, it's like, come on, man, really? Where's the fun in that? Um, again, there's they had honorable deaths. The deaths were um a thing that's being kept. You know, no timeline changes, no time travel, none of that stuff. Even though it could be easily done. I mean, Deadpool, Deadpool, Deadpool could easily have just went back in time, take Wolverine before he dies, and then just have him throughout the film, but he just chose another Wolverine from the multiverse. And, um, again, for Iron Man, I I, I don't know. We, <laughs> the, the passages of time, we have to wait, man. Um, but but that's, that's, that's the ultimate conclusion I have for this video, where it's like nothing was shitted on, the legacies of these characters and these in these moments will always be certified as you know emotional, fulfilling, a great end to their stories. And um, I I feel like for the people who are saying this, I think that they really are ignorant to um, the multiverse. And if anything, it's like. Again, I, I can't understand how people are coming up with this conclusion. I just don't. I'm sorry. 